the bolting thing is going well. Basically, we just want um, the reed. We just want the reed to basically have a daughter. Okay. So, oh yeah, it was because I was doing this, wasn't I? Septon. Okay, you are the best. Okay, what do I want you to do? Improve relations, fabricate claim. Fabricate claim, actually. Fabricate claim. Wait, actually. Let's have a look. What allies do you have? You have the Tarleys as an ally. Ooh. That's an interesting one. Okay. How many men was it you could get again? Okay, you can get a few more men. No one near as much as me, though, still. Very good. Okay. Do I want to claim on Castle Rock? Do I want to claim on Castle Rock? I'm 42 years old. It wouldn't be able to be inherited. Oh, are you kidding me? You're still not married. I'm going to leave it for now. We can get to do stuff later. So descent. There for now. That'll be fine. I can get him to do more later. Actually, maybe I should marry one of my new daughters to the Duskendales. Hmm. It might be good to have them as an ally. I mean, they're not, you know, ridiculously strong or anything. The High Lodge of the Dreadfort. Oh, it looks as though it's already happening. And there you go. We have secured the Dreadfort. Well, basically, once he is dead, it's ours. Basically. Awesome. Good, good, good. Are you kidding me? The Gold Roan is joined? Oh, damn. That's the last thing we wanted. Okay, so that's a problem now. We've now got a problem with it. It's not secured completely yet, is it? Okay. Queen is dead. You do not like me much. How about... Oh, yes, because... Because you're a new person. Your mother died. What are you doing? Kill Lan. Who the hell's Lan? Can you just not do that, maybe? Don't know who Lan is. Don't know what he's done to you, but in our realm, we have order and justice. Okay. Wouldn't marry my niece. Why? It's still one of our dynasty. Hmm. My daughter. Do you know what? I'm going to sacrifice my daughter to make peace with them. We need to make sure we have them at good odds. They're very strong. You know, after me, they're the second strongest family base. They're actually probably they're stronger than the Lannisters, really. Okay. We need to keep an eye on them. Even though she's very young, it's going to take a while until they can actually marry, but it'll be good either way. And for now, I'll send you some money. I can't send a gift, because he's actually not my vassal. And there we go. Okay. Lord Quentin of Ashmark has declared Ashmark War for Lady Karenna's claim on the Westerland. Knew this would happen. We should still be able to take them down. Though the pain... Um, God damn it, why do I keep saying the pain? I keep thinking of the pain. The gold road would be a real big problem. Hmm, just trying to think what I want to do. Now we could just assassinate her somehow. Let's see what our chances are. She's married, obviously, to the Florence. Hold and keep. 34%. Also, if we added our uh, spy mass, that would go up. 150, we'd have two chances. Okay. She's a plot. We could try and kidnap her. See if anyone help me try and kill her. Okay, no one help me try and kill her. Will someone be more inclined to uh, get her kidnapped? Hardly ever kidnap anyone, so I don't really know if it actually affects it that much. Okay, no one is. So no one wants to help me at all. We can try to assassinate her. Or I could just try and defeat them. Probably just going to try and defeat them. How many armies does my son have? 1,700. Okay. Oh, that's the Iron Throne army, actually. 1,500. Ah. 
2,500, 6,000 there, that's a good one. Okay, 4,000, what was that 1,000? 12,000, ooh, he should be fine. Yeah, he should probably take him out himself, to be honest. Well, okay, maybe not himself, but the added me and him, we should be able to take them all on ourselves. Now, what was I planning? I was actually planning something. I was planning to do something. I can't remember that. Yeah, I'm going to call my Bannerman. Okay, you guys get together. Not sure what happened there. We did a little bit of lag for some reason. You guys get there. Okay, once those guys are together, we'll probably bring them down here. Try and take on the gold road. Rupert Rain thinks that investigate Lord Benedict or cast him as legitimacy. Rupert Rain, you're you've taken the black. Why are you trying to screw us over? Why are you trying to screw me over? Damn you, Rupert. Damn you. He's brave and just. Why is he doing this? I I don't like you. I don't like you indeed. Not much I can do about it though, so I'm going to let that go. My question is, where do I go first? Do I just attack the Gold Road army? Or should I go to Ashmark? I'm not sure. Okay, I'm tending the wounds. It's all good. Okay, so he's taking them down. They come to join me. We should probably head to join them. Oh, he's going to Greenfields. Okay, he's running away. Here we've got the Western army here. Okay, them all together. Okay, we've got the Westland army behind us. I'll probably just attach to them. Okay, they're heading that way. We want to we want to keep with them. Okay, four thousand men. Hmm. This this war should be okay. I don't think we're actually gonna have a bigger problem as I thought. There's only five thousand men there. Okay, then you guys can actually go to Castle Rock. Take care of the little army there. Yeah, we should be fine. There's no worries at all. Like I say, it's basically secure. We got most of the vassals on our side. And my son is well liked. Well, he's okay. He's okay liked. Okay. Probably should change the leader. I uh, will send Poliver. Ooh, he's actually married to a small place. Why would she inherit his place? Why would she inherit? He married a Lannister. Are you kidding me? <laughs> what is with these Lannisters? They have fallen out everywhere. They have married so many people. God. I thought I was managing to get my fingers everywhere. The Lannisters have been doing just as much. Luckily, obviously, it's a normal marriage. In a way, it's probably good. She has no claims, though. Damn it. She has no claims. That would have been good. Okay, so what was I thinking? Yeah, we don't want to send him there, because if he dies, that will go to someone else. Don't really want that. We'll send Lan. And Harry's. We don't want to send Harry's. We don't want to send Harry's. We have like, hardly anyone who's actually capable. And I can't lead because I'm off training troops for some reason, because I'm a master at arms. Uh, very annoying. Do you want to send Harry's or do you want to send Polliver? Harry's. I want to send Harry's. Let's send him. He is with a massive army. He is not really in danger. Only 2,000 men there. We could probably take that out on our own. Shouldn't be too much of a problem there. Okay, and that's basically been taken care of. The Lannister army there. Um, since I come to Hawthorne, we've never had a shortage of soldiers reinforcing our castle. Reinforcing our troops, sorry. Yep, I can't believe he's losing this rebellion. Okay, they're managing to run away. Where are you guys heading? Okay, they're not running away. That's the Iron Throne army. Okay, we've got 7,000 men in Deep Den. Okay. 
17 pounds of men there. I should be able to take care of them. That's fine. We got the men there. We're going to go help that. Oh, wow. Okay, we, we are screwing them over. And then these guys are going to be screwed because my son hopefully won't take pity on them. This is the perfect opportunity. We want this. We want the Lannisters to rebel. We want the guys of the Golden Road to rebel because we can take that High Lordship off them. Ashmark, meh. Nah, not so annoyed about. We can get rid of the Lannister High Lordship. We can take it away from them. Ah. Lady Sire feels I risked too much of my escapades and tried to persuade me to stop risking my life. But it's such a thrill. Have you got married? Please just get married. And why are you leading troops? You're not a fighter. You're not a lover either, goddammit. Not even fighting anyone. I mean, not even marrying anyone. Very, very annoying. This is the thing that always gets me. Well, I guess it actually makes it quite realistic. You sometimes have members of your family who go off and do great things, such as we've seen in uh, my old God series. I've had family members go off and expand my realm for me. I haven't really had to do anything. And you have people like this guy who are basically just, they don't do what you think they should do, okay? They beat them. Their army is basically completely falling apart. So we might as well head this army up. In fact, I'm actually going to get rid of my uh, vassal levies. Because we don't need them. They, they don't want to be up either. I must send these guys up. Okay, end your plot, please. Do not want anyone causing hassle. Samwell. Okay, yep, yeah, keep it like that. Okay. Okay, 97%. There you go. No problems at all. Basically, as long as I'm in charge, our family's secure. As long as we have these two pa um, high lordships. Okay, he's in prison them all. Hopefully, he does the right thing and isn't a dumbass. Which I'm very scared he actually might be. I'm very worried this guy might not be capable. He was... Philip, you were meant to be the guy that take our family to a new era. And you need to get married. He released the Golden Road, okay. That's not too bad. I guess that'll make them more happy then. They'll like him a lot. That's not that's not too bad. But what he does with the Lannister. What is he gonna do with the Lannister? They're still in jail, which is a good thing. As long as he's still in jail and he hasn't married, this guy would inherit Preston Lannister. Okay. Can we try and screw them over? My daughter. Matrilineal. Damn it. Sometimes you find some really stupid ones who will do a matrilineal marriage, even though it's the worst thing for them. Okay, Ashmuck has been released. Come on. Don't. He's going to release that bloody Lannister, isn't he? Okay. Peasant Royal has been defeated as well. Not surprisingly. The Tawny of Case. Hmm. I've been to a few Tawnies so far. We haven't been able to prove ourselves. But, hmm. I'm a very busy man. I am the Master the Master of Arms. We'll, we'll miss this one out. We'll go to the next one. We've been to a load of Tawnies recently. My guy's very busy. Benedict is a very, very busy man. Marry, you stupid person. And why are you not pregnant? And why are you stressed? No, don't be stressed. How's your brother doing? Ah, his wife is still in jail. She's still not died yet. So she's now infirm. Okay, well, she's probably not having kids. <laughs> Even at 48, that just makes it much worse. And the Gold Road have joined the Liege Lawless faction. Awesome. Very, very good, son. Maybe you're not such a fool after all. Nigel win them to his side by releasing them. And he hasn't released the Lannister. Definitely good. Definitely good. Like I said, maybe he's not such a fool after all. And if he dies... Huh. Damn it, she's married. Ooh, the Tarleys couldn't inherit Castle Rock. 
Huh. That could actually happen. They left the Legion Lords back. Are you kidding me? Ooh, Tywin Assassin was imprisoned. Why did, why did you imprison him? And he's ill. That's probably not good for him. Ooh, he's not married. Okay. To the wedding of Lord Paramount Philip Rain and Lady Paramount Tana Hunt in Harphone. The prince would be greatly appreciated. Of course I'll come to your wedding. Finally, you lovely little bastard. Who did you marry? A Hunt. A Reachman. Again a Reachman. What is with us in the Reach? Okay, I guess I can't, like I can say, the Reach is quite secure at the moment. So it can't really be a bad thing. Okay, she's not great. I mean, club footed is probably not really good. You know, you don't really want that. But to be honest, I'm just quite happy he's married. She's only 15. Very good. Means there's a good chance we're going to have kids. Okay, he could have done much worse. Why have you become a drunkard? What have you got to be drunk about? But is it because she's not having sex with you? Are you from, have you having problems performing? Is that your problem? I think that's his problem. He's probably having problems performing, so he's become a drunken state. God damn him. Okay, well, it looks like my first son is actually becoming the favourite child, while my second son is starting to become a disappointment. He was looking the other way around not long ago. My first daughter, obviously, has been doing very well. She's been, she's been doing everything right, to be honest. I danced and danced until my face was red and my feet hurt. Then I took a short pause and then danced some more. The musicians at Lord Paramount filled up the first piece, played so good, it was hard to stay still. I don't want to stop dancing. <laughs> Who thought that about you, Benedict? Who thought you were such a good go-getter? Lord Paramount and the Phillips feast, um, Philip the first. Peter's warmly to the wedding. I'm not going to go through because it's the same thing as normal. And literally about five seconds ago, I didn't have a feast. Um, same thing here. I try and read what the, thing, the events say, but you know, if I'm reading one quite a lot all the time, I don't see much point, because you guys know what they say. It just sounds exactly the same. It wastes time for me and for you. Okay. Okay, the bedding. 